Splashdot Remote Desktop is an app that you can download on your iPad or iPhone and lets you remote control your PC or Mac over your Wi-Fi or your Gmail account. So to set this up, just go to Splashdot's website. The link will be in the description. And click Get Steamer. That's something like the server in order to connect to the PC. So after you get this, you should be having something like this in your launch pad. Click it and you should see the splash top icon appeared here. Okay, the first time you install it, you will have to give your password you want to set to access it and some other information. But after you're done all that, you should get the icon and make sure it's running. Now for the setup on the iPad. On your iPad, just go to App Store. Loading and search Splash Top Remote Desktop for iPad, and you can download the free or paid version. Let me tell you something: the free version is limited to only five minutes of remote control. So after five minutes of you controlling your computer, it'll say limitation, and you'll have to do it all over again. If you get the pro version, which is now selling for four nine nine, you have a unlimited time of remote control. So I have the pro version. Anyway, stop talking about free or paid. Just install the app. Once you've installed the app, just launch it. And it should automatically detect your PC as long as it's in the same Wi-Fi network. And now let's click the blue icon. And here we can rename our computer. Okay. Okay, now type in your security code that you were asked to type in when you install the steamer just type that in and you can go to advanced and you can choose your resolution I'll keep it as the default iPad resolution and let's click save now let's connect to the computer it should automatically detect your computer as long as you're in the same Wi-Fi network and the computer is automatically detected and working will have a blue color which means it's working. You see this gray? It won't work because it says could not reach. Anyway, let's connect to my MacBook. Connecting to my computer now. Yeah, that's fast. Okay, here are a few hints and gestures. Okay. Continue. And some more hints. Okay. Let's minimize iMovie. That's quite smooth. You can uh, double tap, press close. You can zoom in. That's one good thing. And, yep. Press close, zoom out. And let's go to Safari. I want to show you something. Well, let's go to YouTube. There you go. Let me show you something else in a text box you can tap the keyboard icon and you can type stuff like YouTube once you've done just press down. anyway now let's okay now let's go down two fingers scroll up and down is that not working yeah. there we go and we could tap movie and it transfers all sound from the computer to my iPad so sound is playing from my iPad now fast forward and that's really smooth let's minimize Safari okay sometimes it's hard so you can just zoom in then minimize this app is quite good I like it, does what I want it to do, and it's relatively smooth compared to other apps, remote desktop apps in the App Store. This is one of the best. And if you're thinking of getting the pro version, because the free, mer free version is limited to a 5 minute remote control, I think you should get the pro version if you use it often. And I do. I actually connect the HDMI cable and watch movies on my TV, and it's really smooth. 
So that should do for the first look at Splashdot Remote Desktop for the iPad. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.